Story you'll only see on the one and only tonight. New training with hopes of preventing yet another school shooting. Local 10 News reporter Ian Margle was there and has the exclusive. School safety is so important, and especially here in Broward County, there is so much scrutiny that goes into this kind of training. So they try to make it as lifelike as possible. The hallways of Cypress Bay High School became the scene of an active shooter training session on Tuesday meant to prepare school resource officers for the worst. They better know their campus better than the assailant does. Captain Anthony DeMarco oversees juvenile programs for the Broward Sheriff's Office, so the training of SROs falls under his watchful eye. Over a three-week period, his deputies will be spending time in the classroom, on the range, and in the hallways, acting out scenarios that, unfortunately, Broward County knows all too well. They're going to be the only ones there probably for a minute or so. So they're getting the information, tools, and training that they need to engage that individual until the cavalry comes. Communicate like you just talked about. Treat the injured. Leading the training is Deputy Richard Sato. He and the other SWAT instructors are in the red shirts, making sure the school resource officers know everything from clearing a hallway to treating the injured. Meanwhile, while you're doing this, what's happening here? All part of making sure our schools stay safe. I too have students that go to the Broward County Schools. The, these could be my children and, that are here and that, that's why we train. We train to prepare for the day that we hope never happens. To make it as lifelike as possible, they were using training bullets just like this one. These aren't going to hurt anybody, but they do fire just like regular bullets would. Today it was only the SROs, but later on in the fall, they're going to be doing the entire department going through the exact same training to make sure everyone is ready for the worst. In Weston, I'm Ian Margle, Local 10 News.